everyone, it's Paige Sullivan here with the Red Carpet Report. And we are on the back lot of Paramount Studios for the Rebels with the Cause event. It's a fundraiser for the Keck School of Medicine of USC. Hi, how are you? My name's Paige. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, David Agus. So I'm very excited to be here. This is kind of revolutionary what you guys do with this event, bringing the entertainment industry together with cancer research. Why do you think it's important to mix the two? Well, listen, the biologists having cured cancer and the death rate of cancer hasn't changed dramatically over the last 50 years. 600,000 people are going to die this year in the United States from cancer. So we need a new approach. The entertainment industry brings role models to make people realize with cancer they're not going to be shunned, and that it's something proud that I'm fighting the disease. The technology industry, industry is here tonight, and they're going to bring a new approach and ways of thinking about it. I want us all to fight this horrible disease, because it affects every family in this country. Exactly. So it affects everyone, but I think young people the most don't pay as much attention to it. What is your advice to young people, maybe in their 20s or even in just in college? Well, getting someone who's young to say, I'm going to make a difference today that's going to affect me a decade, two, three years from now, that's going to be a big difference. We need to really get them to to change what they do. And so the young people, I want them to be in charge of their own health. And I want them to push their parents and their grandparents to do things also to change their health. Prevention starts when you're young. It does start when you're young, but for somebody maybe who doesn't have a lot of money, do you have like a, a cheap tip, something that they can do just, if they can't afford the kale, is it buy the spinach? So get a load of this. It's not just what you eat, but it's when you eat. Okay. If you have your meals the same time every day, your body's going to work optimally. And so if you have your lunch today at noon and tomorrow at 2 o'clock, stress hormones go up, metabolism go down, you gain weight, you don't think as well, and you don't exercise as well. So I want people to get up the same time, go to bed the same time, and eat their meals the same time every day. People who graze, that is, eat when they're hungry, have 81% more diabetes. That's insane. I didn't know that eating the same time every day made any difference at all to my health. Oh, yeah. And it's the same thing with when, it's not just how long you sleep, but it's when you sleep. 600 parents, they said, have your kids go to bed whenever they want, wake up in 10 and a half hours. 600 parents, have your kids go to bed the same time every night, wake up 10 and a half hours later. Over 20% improvement in thinking in the kids who went to bed the same time and got up the same time. And what's true in kids is even more so in adults. Regularity is key. Perfect. That is Seriously, my mind is blown right now. I'm very excited about that information because I do find myself eating all times of the day. But if you want people to take one thing away from tonight outside the music and the cause, what is it that you want them to take home if it's just one thing that sticks? I want it to be you're in charge of your own health. And so each of us are in charge of ourselves. I want people to get naked every month and look at themselves in the mirror, look at changes in their body. You know yourself best. Take your blood pressure, start to educate yourself. So when you do go to that doctor once every year or so, you can actually go in with the right questions and be armed. We are in charge of our own health. Thank you, thank you, what great advice. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe below. Also, leave me a comment with your favorite healthy tip. I know mine is to drink a lot of water. And, yeah, do you have a comment on that? But inflammation is the root of heart disease, <laughs> cancer, and so oh. at the end of the day, your feet hurt, that's not a good thing. <laughs> so I'm not against the stilettos, but I am against any shoe that's going to make you hurt at the end of the day. Okay. So wear the comfortable shoes, it makes a difference. Whoa! <laughs>